My long-awaited book, Astrology Realized, is finally available and waiting for you at Amazon and other online retailers. Get one for you, your loved one, or as a gift. All part of your fabulous journey to understanding astrology. Enjoy. Hello, fabulous Gemini. Welcome to your horoscope for October 2013, Love Focus. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. When I looked at the sky for you this month where it came to love, I was reminded of a particular tarot card. Now, I didn't actually pull this tarot card. I just made that association looking at the sky and boom, it popped up. I was like, wow, this is just like that card. Now, before I tell you the card, I do want to say that there are lots of different tarot decks out there. Every tarot card does correspond to a particular archetype, a universal archetype. I do believe that. But I also believe, and as I teach students of whether it's astrology or whether it's tarot, I say to them, probably the most important thing where it comes to a card is your own personal connection you have with that card. So yes, you want to learn the symbols, you want to learn the archetype, the universal archetype, then you want to look at the symbols that the artist has shared, you want to look at the visuals and what it brings up for you. And at the same time, you do want to look at when you're learning what keeps happening for you when certain cards show up, what keeps happening for other people you do readings for when certain cards show up. And in this way, you start building a personal relationship with your cards that lasts a lifetime in the same way that you build a personal relationship with the sky that lasts a lifetime. Having said that, when I looked at the sky for you, what I thought of was a card called the eight of swords. Now for me, the eight of swords represents other opinions, sometimes gossip, but it tends to represent other information that is interfering with your own thought process and with your own perception. And to me, this very much summed up what it is right now, the climate may be like where it comes to love for you, especially where it comes to the people who are influencing your thought process. They seem to be people who seem like friends on the surface. And I have to tell you in all honesty, it does look like there is for some of you at least one friendship that may not be completely healthy for you, that may not be completely right for you. And, or at least for where you are right now, I'm not trying to break up any friendships out there. I do think that if a friendship is meant to be, you can work through it and you can make it grow. And I do think that you have a lot of really amazing people around you and people who love you. And I do think that some of these people you haven't tapped into enough, especially as of late. People are going to be honest with you. People are going to be loving with you. But it does look like, in all honesty, there's at least one person who may not be completely on the up and up, who may be motivated in their advice by their own feelings. And this, in turn, is leading you to see a certain situation love-wise um, colored in a way that may not be so accurate. You are going to get that accuracy and you are going to get that clarity. But it's going to come about by you trusting what you feel. Something's going to feel a little bit off by some advice that you get. And this is particularly true in the second half of the month. So it really is once we get you to the second half of the month that what I am seeing is that some situation love-wise, once you get to the end of the month, you're sort of saying to yourself, oh, wow, okay, you get some advice and you go, wait a minute, I know that something's off with that. I know that that's not true. And that in turn is going to lead you to examine some deeper motivations. Now, I'm not saying that anyone out there is purposely deceitful. Absolutely not. That's not what I'm saying. And that may not necessarily be the case. But what I am saying is that it may be possible that you have chosen to see a certain way in which you are in a relationship maybe not with as balanced a perception as would be good for you and would be good for your future in love. So for those of you who are attached, you know, obviously this can play out in terms of you having somebody that you speak with regularly about dynamics, about the relationship, getting that feedback and that advice. And so the full picture is going to be more illuminated for you. 
other motivations are going to be illuminated in which you will be able to see what it is that is actually going on and that in turn is going to allow you to heal if there have been any questions there. Those of you who are not attached who are open to love, a lot of this still applies as well but it comes to a much larger sort of meta level. It comes to the level of you understanding how you have been in love, how you have been in partnership. Now, as I said, it does look like friendships are changing. One friendship may have to transform if it is to be around. It is possible for a small percentage of you as well that some of what is influencing advice coming from a friend is because that friend has feelings for you. That's also a possibility that could be playing out. One thing is for sure though, the dynamic has to change, particularly between you and a friend. And it is love that illuminates the way. So it is particularly the influence that the friend has on your love understanding that allows you to see both clearly, the friendship and allows you to see where you are right now in love and whether or not the advice you've been getting is moving you towards the love that you really want. And where it isn't, you are going to decide to change course and you are going to decide to take different advice. And where it does, well, there's going to be a lot of gratitude all around, but there's also going to be a lot of honesty with you about your own doubts. There's going to be a lot of honesty with the other person as well as to where they are and what their real motivations are. And ultimately, all our motivations, sometimes in very weird ways and sometimes in very convoluted ways, are ultimately about moving us towards greater love and greater wisdom. So regardless of what you choose to do within any given dynamic, do remember that and do remember to be kind to all, especially towards yourself. Thank you for watching. It'll be a great month. Be fabulous and enjoy.